Hello everyone, in today's video we will show you how to make a stunning 3D presentation in PowerPoint. Starting from the very beginning, we will explain it in a simple way so that anyone can easily follow along with us. Start with a blank slide. Go to the layout and then choose blank. Now we need a logo for Microsoft. You can get it from the Google search or you can go to the insert tab and then click on the pictures icon, then online pictures. Here you can write Microsoft logo. I'm choosing this one and then click insert. Start adjusting the size of the logo by dragging the corners and you can hold shift and control at the same time when you are dragging you can resize it this way move it up a little bit and then make it smaller now we need a background so we go to the insert tab and get a square shape click insert and then go to shapes choose the square one and click and drag to the end of the slide and change the outline color to no outline and then the shape field you can choose any color i will choose this gray then click on the send backward now let's add a beautiful text microsoft surface so go to the insert tab and then click on the word art and then type microsoft surface change the font to any font you like and adjust the size to fit your need then move it a little bit up under the logo now let's duplicate the text press ctrl on keyboard and then click on the corner of the text and drag it down change the color and the size of the text make it a little bit bigger make it blue now it's time to insert 3d models go to insert and 3d models you can choose from this device if you have already downloaded from an external website like this website there are many websites offering 3d models for free or you have to pay for them but i will choose the built-in one stock 3d models which are free to use you have many options i will go and choose microsoft products and then choose microsoft surface laptop then click insert you can adjust the size and the, uh, also you can rotate it or you can use this tab to make a perfect rotation so you can choose any of these i will choose this one and then resize it and bring it down and move the text and make it a perfect then right click on the slide and then click duplicate slide now we have to go back let me remove this slide we don't need this so on the first slide i will move the surface down to the bottom outside of the slide and also the text as well resize the background and resize the logo now let's change the or rotate the laptop in other direction now select both slides using shift key and then go to the transition and choose more transition now if you click preview you have a nice transition for the slide now let's duplicate the second slide as well and then change the background shape and location so on the third one i will make it uh, move the background to the left and move the logo to the right and the text to the left as well and change the color and adjust all the color and size as you like and then let's uh, rotate the 3d model I will choose this one, make it bigger and put it on the right hand. 
and then let's uh, draw a line under the surface change the color and then we need a text box so let me insert a text box copy and paste and you get the text box also this specification I can copy and paste and then if you go to the transition and click preview you have this nice transition let's duplicate the third slide to get the fourth one and on the fourth one let's do some changes by rotating the surface to another uh, direction and play with the text around it and change them the size and the color it is up to you pay attention that morph transition is depend on the same text and object used in the slide that's why we duplicate each time we want to create a new slide let me get uh, another text box and adjust it to the location as you see this is a new text box that's why i will click and copy and go back to the previous slide and paste it and move it out of the slide so that when we play the slide it appeared on the fourth slide so let's test it go to transition and click preview as you see it slides from the right hand to the left let's duplicate the fourth slide to get the fifth slide and let me play with the text and the location of this let me move them out of the slide rotate the surface and move the background and make it a little bit smaller and then i will move this up and out of the slide and get a new text box now let's give it a try and see as you see we have another movement which is beautiful let's create the sixth slide by duplicating the fifth one and change the a location of the background and resize it and move the text out of the slide move the surface to the middle bring this text box back to the slide and this specification to the other side but this time i will duplicate in order not to slide from the left to right that's why i copied the specification and where the original one is out of the slide now let's move these out and these up and the text out and then copy the logo by control D or control C and control V so I duplicated the logo and resize it and let's see how it look like as you see it moves out of the slide and let's uh, resize the background to fill the background this way we were able to create this nice beautiful presentation so let's go back to the first slide and run the slide all together to see how it looked like i hope this video was useful for everybody and see you in my next video